Hey you guys, welcome to TCTN, the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. Need the chapstick. <laughs> the crazy because I am, I started a video and then put on chapstick as if I didn't know my lips were dry ahead of time. Troll because I consider myself a troll. A cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. And as you can see, I have on no face paint today. Um, If you guys have watched my I'm Not a Minimalist, but I do have minimalism tendencies. I wanted that video. <laughs> I'm still half asleep. I'm sorry. Um, I said when I buy something, excuse me, and I just ate breakfast. <laughs> when I buy something, I have in mind at least two of a similar item that I'm going to get rid of. And thanks to Brie sending me links to videos that she watches on YouTube, uh, well, people that she watches, um, I finally caved in and bought some Doc Martens. I've been wanting some for about a year now, but I never was like, yeah, let me just go and see. And anyway, I ordered a pair um, of BXBs online and the stitching on the right shoe near the pinky toe was defective. It was bulging inside. And so I sent them back and I didn't want to keep going through this back and forth in the mail. So I said, let me just Google, see where there's a store. There's one in Philadelphia. Yeah, so it was like a 45 minute ride, 20 minutes to find parking <laughs> once I got there. And I walked out with three pairs of footwear. So I'm like, okay, so that's like six pairs of footwear I need to get rid of when I get home. But I did already have in mind um, at least three pair of boots that I was going to get rid of. One, two, three, four pair of boots I was going to get rid of. So this is what I got. I purchased, and I'm hoping I don't drop anything. I purchased a pair of... Um, Jaden's cherry red and a pair of socks <laughs> and I purchased these specifically to wear with a burgundy corset that I have which is where these socks come in because they could just peek over the top and the cherry red and as they wear he says more of the red will come out but you don't know how much more of the red will come out or what tone of red will come out and I did actually wear these um, to Baltimore Playhouse with my burgundy kilt and um a black top with with the great with the gold emblem and i also purchased these shoelaces to bring out the gold honestly i don't like the gold stitching but then i thought if i bring out the gold and then wear a shirt that has a gold emblem or something it'll just help tie everything in together and everybody was like oh my gosh you really got dressed up tonight and i'm just like is this a kilt and some docks like what because i really just usually go in jeans and a t-shirt so they were just like oh my gosh she's showing some leg um, and so I really like these. I didn't, and I watched videos on how to break them in and I really didn't. These fit me really nicely. I do, I did, I did find, excuse me, that they do get looser. Is looser a word? They get more loose. <laughs> and so I find myself, um, oh, I'm reading a text. My partner is texting me. Um, the laces get more loose as the time goes on. So I think like twice during the night, I retighten them. But then once you get up here, you can only tighten them so much. And so I am really digging these. They are like super comfortable. I had them on maybe like seven hours. My feet did not hurt or anything. There's not much of a cushion on the insole, but I already do have a, a, pair, a set of insoles. I was going to say a pair. I do have a set of insoles already that I can use if I need to. The other pair I purchased were uh, the 1460 Mono Smooth. And this is what this looks like. I pur I purchased this pair specifically to wear with my black kilt and my leather corset that I wear when I wear the black kilt. And so I didn't want to have that yellow stitching. And so when I saw this one, I'm like, this is really nice. And it takes me back to my military days. I purchased these laces. These are satin because this will help soften the look of the boot for when I wear it with the corset. And I wore these the other day with a pair of jeans when I met my brother out for lunch. And I had these on that day for about six hours and they are just super comfortable. These socks I purchased um, to wear with these, but they are too thick for me to wear with these boots. And so I just wore like a regular sock with this. And these were comfortable as well. Um, these are a little shorter than um, the Jadens. And so it does hit like the front of my shin in a different way, but they are still like super comfortable. Um, I didn't do much to break them in. I did follow a technique of a guy here on YouTube and I will tell you what 
his technique was as I go on. The third part I purchased, these are called combs. Ajax plus extra tough nylon. And it's a canvas. And I like how the eyelets look because it reminds me of military. And these are as comfortable as my sneakers. And so I am going to wear these today when I go out. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I was thinking if I would have ordered online, I would have just purchased one pair, right? Going to the store, bought three pair of footwear, two set of laces, <laughs> and I bought um, the polish and two sets of laces. These laces that are in here came with the boot. I mean the shoe. And so this is what we got. And yeah, it was expensive. Like the Doc Martens are fairly expensive. So the technique that the guy talked about, and I'm going to link his video below, and he works with leather. And so I'm like, okay, he's somebody good to listen to. He had a small space heater. He said, you know, just put your boots in front of the heater just to soften up, excuse me, um, the leather. Not too long because you don't want to melt any of the glue. So he said like 10 minutes or so. So I did that. And then you polish them. You take the laces out. You polish the tongue part. You polish all around the shoe. And then you put them back in front of the space heater for another 10 minutes. That's what I did. And then after that, um, immediately after that, um, I wore a pair just around the house and, you know, flexing my feet and my heels um, for like 20 minutes or so to loosen up the back of the heel part. Let me just show you this part back here and to loosen up the toe part. And then I switched out and put on um, the Jadens and did the same thing. The canvas ones, you don't need to do that because the canvas is off. And so that's what I did. And so this is the polish that I purchased. And I, I realized I didn't need to, but I was just like so excited. It comes with a little sponge that's already tearing up. And this is cute because you put this in here so the sponge does not rest directly on top of the polish. I purchased this um, because I was unsure. The guy I was telling you about. He uses mink oil, and so I had already went online and purchased mink oil. This is a mink oil compound. When I was in the store, the guy was saying, you know, this is a conditioner and it moisturizes and blah, 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 blah. And I didn't remember if the mink oil compound did that, and when I got home and read it, it does. Waterproofs, softens, lubricates, and preserves, blah, 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 blah. And that's all the things that this does, too. And so between these two, it's going to last me the lifetime of the boot. And I also bought an Ultra Protector Spray for um, the combs, the canvas footwear that I purchased. Yeah, so I left out of there with a lot of stuff. So what I'm giving away, and I think I'm going to take them to someone who um, works with an organization that gives clothes to women re-entering the workforce. Like if they came from, you know, an abusive background or if they, excuse me, I'm usually sweaty and I'm sweating right now, or um, a drug history and they're in recovery or whatever, she collects items to give to them um casual wear um office attire just whatever household goods and things like that so it's for women basically starting over and so i'm going to give these to her the only thing is i wear an 11 so i don't know if there's many of us out there so the first pair i'm giving i'm going to give to her is this brown boot that i maybe have worn i'm smelling them because i don't remember if they're leather but i don't think so these are guest boots, and so they might be leather. I got these at DSW, and I really like it, but I've only worn them maybe like two or three times. And so this is a pair that she's going to get, and I feel bad that I'm going to be throwing them. Yeah, so it's like they're barely even like worn, but I do really take care of my, my, that my belongings anyway. Um, I'm giving away, I'm going to stick with boots for right now. This pair, this is like a great pair that I love because it is high up and it reminds me of military. This pocket, when you unbuckle it, which I'm not going to do because it's going to take some time, is actually a pocket. <laughs> this is actually a legit pocket in here, and I really love these. And you can either unlace them to put them on or just unzip them and put them on. These look really good with leggings or with like skinny jeans and tuck them in. I really like this boot, and this makes me think of military. The BXBs from Doc Martens had a stitch across the front. And that's why I like those. And on the right one that I was saying, the stitching inside was bulging. So that was rubbing it against my toes. So that was a defect. But so this is another pair that I'm giving away. Spring is coming in. Today is March 9th. But, you know, if somebody needs footwear, they're still going to wear them. And neither one of those boots are padded. So they're not like hot like your feet. I don't know if people, you know, some people sweat a lot. Some don't. This is another pair that I am giving away. 
because I, I, I'm not able to wear heels anymore, not even this much, because of when I broke my toe. <laughs> and so when my foot is like this, my foot gets swollen from the broken toe that I had. And so I've only worn these a few times. These are not leather, but they're like so cute just to wear with um, jeans or a skirt. And so I'm giving those away. And this pair, um, I'm giving away as well. Okay, so, and that is one, two, three, four, four pairs. So then I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to give away like two more pairs to be six. And I purchased three, that means get rid of six things, right? So I went in my closet and these shoes, I love these shoes. They're comfortable for about four hours just because even though it's, um, the platform it still ends up bothering my foot i like these because these aren't 11s but when i wear them i swear my foot looks like a size eight and it has this cute little ankle strap i, I used to wear them with jeans you know very low key these are suede oh my gosh they're really nice shoes i'm just not able to wear them and these canvas canvas they are canvas <laughs> chuck taylor's there's the emblem if you don't believe me. I, I like them when I saw them. I like them when I try them when they, they look really good with skinny jeans. But they are just, they're not easy to get into. Like I have to, oh, I'm glad I did that. You know, I keep socks in my shoes. They would have got a pair of dirty socks. Um, well, not dirty, dirty, because I wear them like once or twice before I switch them out. But um, look, and the other one had a, different set of socks so maybe they're clean i don't know um <laughs> they're just hard to get into you can't quickly take them off i always have to untie them to take them off and sit down and, and readjust the tongue and all of that but i think i've only worn these maybe maybe six times and so i'm giving that away the last item i'm on the fence about is these boots right here i got a lot of use out of these um, when I would wear these to the playhouse, people dubbed these my BDSM boots because of the studs and the chain. <laughs> these look good with jeans. They look good with, um, black leggings. They look good with, um, they even wore them with a black dress with a, um, black satin underbust corset on. Looks nice with that. Like, these look good with just about anything. And they have a zipper on the side, so you unzip, just slip them on. I don't even fool with the laces. It, the buckles you know they do come apart but i've never had to do that because i just unzip them and put them on um so i'm torn on whether to get rid of these or not so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to try these on with leggings and see if i like these as much as these with the leggings even though i do like all the hardware on this because i think that is just really cool but even without giving these away if i don't i still i have to recount <laughs> one two three four five six so even without giving these away if i don't that'll still be six pair of footwear that i'm giving away and if i do give the bdsm boots away that'll be seven pair so i bought three pair i'm getting rid of six maybe seven and so that's how i do things here um and it also helps me with impulse buying um except makeup brushes i've been buying more makeup brushes lately but i think i'm going to get rid of some of the older ones or some of the real technique ones which i do love y'all know that i do um but they've been having sephora's been having sales this is not about sephora or makeup this is about doc martens and footwear minimalism right right so on that note i'm going to end <laughs> in the video let me know what you think about you know if you have doc martens you know how do you like them did you have to break them in because i really didn't have to do that with mine because they fit when i got them um do you practice any minimalism techniques when you buy something do you get rid of something either one or two things um and just leave your comments below. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys.